you had such a huge hit on your hands with season one so not surprised we're back with season two it was both a satisfying ending and a cliffhanger ending i think with this one jim are there many what kind of surprises i should say are in store for season two because the one question everyone wants to know is where is richie i haven't watched enough to know the answer myself so i can't spoil it <clears throat> but what what's coming in season two yeah there's there is definitely more surprises and the and the richie five story is present all throughout sort of season two it, it doesn't feel like it is maybe so much at the beginning but it's sort of amazing how what seems to be an investigation about sort of weather disasters and an and obscure kind of weather patterns and climate change is intrinsically linked to the to the possibilities of things that happen in season one and so yeah as, as hilly digs digs and digs deeper more and more things kind of come to the surface you know and it becomes very personal too for hilly and her family and uh in ways that i don't think hildy was quite expecting i know that's, that all, you I, that's all i can say it's so hard you know it's okay you know, i know it's so hard to, to not give stuff Even away in that sentence i was like did i give anything <laughs> away did i give anything away i don't want to get you in trouble either i don't want to get you okay in trouble thank either. you <laughs> um i know you guys are such a huge family on this you can see it even like in on your social media and everything and, and you know i it's not just the I, the cast i know the crew and everything as well but Brooklyn, I do want to ask, where does the nickname Jimbo Tatar Teeth come from? Have I got that? <laughs> where Where is that from? So, it all started <laughs> on one day we were shooting season two of Home Before Dark. There, we were shooting in the office that Hildy and Matt kind of share. And there is this... I've always called him Jimbo. I mean, I called him Jim at first, and I was like, he has to have a nickname. And then Jimbo was born. So um, there was this notepad, and I wrote Jim a note on it, and then it just kept, it kept getting back and forth. And then I just wrote Jimbo Tartar Teeth with a smiley face with teeth and the tartar. That's really... And then he sent me back one, Brooklyn... Um, stinky feet. It was it was really mean, but yeah, we started kind of in so we were writing little secret messages to each other, okay. and then I started writing like Brooklyn has bad breath, and then <laughs> and it went from there. <laughs> wow! It, yeah, it went very far. I got schooled, by the way. Yeah, she came out on top. Believe me. I mean, I can see the fact that this is spilled over onto social media. I know now your uh, nickname. Uh, Jim, but have you got one for Brooklyn? Yes, Brooklyn, bad breath. Bad breath, book, oh. Brooklyn. <laughs> bad breath, Brooklyn. Nice, a nice little love in for this. Um, <laughs> and obviously, I know that you guys, you had to stop filming because of the pandemic. I think it, you got to like three episodes and then you just started the fourth. What did it feel like coming back, Brooklyn? It felt like a dream. I mean, I miss everyone so, so much, especially Jim, because he's my best friend. Um, and we, when we got there, I was just hugging people left and right. I'm like, I love you. I love you. I love you. I missed you. I missed you. <laughs> I was just hugging a bunch of people. Like we were all crying. And the first day of shooting, we were so excited. We, we got to see the studio, the set again, like the, the hair and makeup people and some of the some of the original not very much but some of the original crew came back we were just we were above and beyond especially that season two was back in a new mystery and the two five got to carry on I can't wait to see the rest of it myself I know everyone's excited um and your friendship is just adorable uh good luck with season two guys when it comes out thank you so much <laughs> Bye.